everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Vinyl Thoughts. Today we're going to talk about another kind of obscure album, um, and a unique one in my opinion. Uh, we're going to be talking about the debut and only album from New York thrash band Dead On. This album was released in 1989 on uh, SBK Records, which is actually a subsidiary of Capitol Records, so this was kind of a major label thing. Um, and it's got a lot of major label polish. It's produced by Max Norman, who many of you might know that name. If you don't, he did a lot of the early Ozzy Osbourne solo albums, among a bunch of other metal albums uh, and hard rock albums in the 80s. Um, and this album has a very clean production. All the instruments are very clear. In fact, it's so cleanly produced that it almost has a thrash light kind of sound to it. But let's talk about the actual band Dead On. And there's not a lot to talk about because there's not a lot of information out there. In fact, my usual go-to of going to the metal archives online um, pretty much just found what the name of the band members were, uh, where they were from, the fact that this was their only album, and uh, the fact that they started another band after this, but we'll get to that. Um, but this album, you know, I, I think that they were sort of expecting something to happen. Uh, there's a song from this album also on the soundtrack for the horror movie Shocker. Um, and, and so it seemed like it, things were supposed to be happening for this band. I don't really know, but uh, it seems like there may have been a little bit of a push uh, for these guys, which is weird, because if you listen to this album, it doesn't really f fit anywhere precisely. It's thrash, kind of. Um, it's got some good guitar work. And, I mean, the band's tight. Um, the vocals are what's kind of unique about this, because there's a weird delivery throughout the whole album. The vocalist kind of takes some of, like, uh, Mark from Death Angel, when he does this more sort of speaky, shouty things. I, I, like, ima imagine an entire album where the vocals sound like the verses in Peace Cells, but who's buying you? What do you mean I don't believe in God? Like, what if they sounded like that the whole album? That's kind of like what you got here. And the album has a whole lot of, like, horror movie, not necessarily movie, but horror and occult kind of themes that seems to be running throughout the songs. It almost sounds like this band was kind of tailor-made to be on horror movie soundtracks. But of course, like I said, you don't really find much information about them online. So apparently this album came out, didn't really do very well, and uh, some of the band members moved on and they started another band. What is that band called? Planet Hate was the band that they moved on to. And once again, that's another band that they put out an album and then vanished. If anyone knows anything about Dead On, let me know. I, I, I would, uh, I'd like to, to get some more information on these dudes because this album is actually a very fun album. Even though the album cover is a little bit odd, there's so much odd stuff about this album. That's probably why I like it so much. Because the cover, you would think this was some sort of a project for like a guitar virtuoso. This dude. But it's not. And also it kind of looks like maybe it's a still from a music video that never happened. It's just a weird cover. Their name's a little bit unusual this it's just such a unique album and it actually is very fun to listen to um so it's it's a cool find let's let's look at the uh the liner notes and stuff okay so got some lyrics and then look there's the dudes there's dead on looking all happy like man we're about to conquer the world with this album um and then uh you know the vinyl is uh it's got the generic sort of like Capitol Records kind of, uh, uh, I guess it is the SBK uh, label on it, but you know, um, so it's 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 a mystery kind of. It's a it's a great album. It's it's a really good sort of slice of '80s thrash metal history because if you remember in the late '80s, major labels were really getting behind thrash metal bands, and so this may have been you know this label's you know one they were going for. Um, but it's a very unique album, and I like listening to it, and I suggest that you do too. It is available on Apple Music, probably Spotify too, if you want to go check it out. I think they even 
uh, include the second EP that these guys did right after on the version that's on Apple Music. And and consequently, that EP is, is very cool too. Um, so they're a unique band and they're kind of a mystery. But you know what? Do I really want the mystery to be solved? I don't know. You tell me. All right. Thanks for joining me, folks. And I will see you all again next time.